Fire and smoke enter, entering into attic vents can be an even bigger problem than entering into crawl space vents. Fire and ember swirling around in an eave assembly can easily blow through the vents and get to the dry, unprotected ceiling and roof framing inside. Once this happens, there's very little hope of stopping the fire. Fire rated vents can be installed to help with ember intrusion, but they do very little, if anything, to stop dangerous smoke from wildfires from entering your home. Small amounts of smoke can be a serious health hazard to your family. Large amounts of smoke, like we saw in the devastating LA wildfires, can cause a huge remediation project, even if the home doesn't catch on fire. Most people will tell you that spray foam insulation is the best way to build an unvented attic. While it can be effective if it's done correctly, it has a huge downside other than its high cost. The chemical makeup of spray foam insulation can be unstable and pose a serious health risk to the occupants of the home over time. Fortunately, we've been building homes for years with unvented attics that don't use spray foam insulation. By installing rigid foam insulation on the roof deck underneath the roofing, it allows us to put various types of insulation in the attic below that aren't spray foam. Having the insulation on the roof prevents moisture issues in the attic below and clears away for an unvented roof assembly that's protected from fire and smoke intrusion. I'm Scott O'Hara. I build and renovate high-performance homes that protect what matters.